Hey everyone! Sorry, yes. Hello everyone, this is Wingblade, and welcome back to part 3 of my Let's Play of Bonkle Hull Heroes. Last time we completed Shattered Wreck, and today we're going to be doing the third level. But first, let's head to the Lego store. Now, the Lego store is a place where we can actually upgrade our Toa and stuff. Now, pretty much, since I've got enough uh, money, which is Technic Pieces, I'm going to buy the 50% discount. Now we've lost many of our, many of my currency. But before I head back into, before I do the next video, I mean the next level, I'll quickly have a little wander around, see if I can scurry some parts. So yeah, also a little update guys, sorry why I haven't been on YouTube for quite some time, I've either been lazy, and the fact my cousins were there, they're yeah, pretty much... And if you guys is in my channel don't know, my grandma died on uh, f last Friday, so apparently I just couldn't get myself to do any videos. But to make it up for you guys, I will make three videos today, and I'll upload them the same time. Anyway, now that we got some money, let's see if I can upgrade. Alright, I'll upgrade Jowler since I've got some. Alright. Now Jowler's now as you can see for Jowler his heart meters now two his fur two of his hearts are now silver. That means his armor has been increased. Eerie, let's go back into these now if you guys don't know, I'm gonna be going through each section one by one. By far I'm doing Vizox Coastline. Then after Vizox Coastline, I'll move on to another region or a location. Eerway. So pretty much, uh, if you want to know, this is the previous mission we did. We're not doing that today. But after you complete level 2 and recover this Paracosphere, it will appear here. Swap to Hooky, use his telekinesis, and boom! We've unlocked the final, the third location, Shattered Wreck. Anyway, and we're going to be taking on our first Titan boss, Rudaka. Alright, Shattered Rack. Now I know this place. Now pretty much this place over here, this place is connected to the previous location we were. And except we're locked in now. Now go down here and I recommend collecting Kong Gu's mask. Now we can't do anything here, so we'll come back later as soon as we have uh, uh cookie coming. First let's take on uh, Sorry why sometimes I intend to be a little bit quiet when I'm playing games. Or the fact that you have the volume down. Um, if you guys have the volume down, I recommend putting it up. That way you can hear me talk a bit louder. No, no, this place can sometimes be a little bit, uh, oh yeah. Before you, also, don't forget. There's, uh, don't forget to look around for techniques. The more pieces you look, the more, uh, also, we get introduced to these new Rahi, called these innocent fish Rahi. Pretty much, they're har they're very innocent, and they are only found in waters, pretty much. So, continuing on, first, now there are two paths. The blue arrow will tell you where to go, but we're not going to go to that location. What you want to do, you come here, grab Pookie's mask, and then you have the to Tower of Stone. Now, continuing on. Now, I'm pretty much I recommend going to have a look around. Now, over there, there are two secret doors. This one will contain a silver canister, as well as two rock, which are these visible. Now, you could destroy the innocent insects to get parts, but I recommend. But you can do whatever you want. Anyway, over here is the second in one, but this requires Hooky to open the gate, open it, and you will get a, a second and a uh, silver canister, as well as Jowler. Now, pretty much over here, as you can see, we need the Paru's ability 
but we need to lift him up. There, now we've got Jeller and our second canister. Now, we leave this zone right here and we head to the next. We head to the little arrow. Now, heading to the arrow is the most important part of this game. The arrow shows you where you need to go, and also, if it goes a different color, that means it requires you to switch to a solo. For example, if it's red, you have to walk, it means you have to walk on lava. If it's green, that means you have to jump as common. If it's blue, then you have to walk on water. If it's brown, then you continue walking on land. And we just triggered hero mode early. Now normally I never trigger it early, but I guess this is the first time I might trigger it early. Now pretty much over there, if you don't want to go through that like, shortcut, uh, you can get Shallow's Mask here, but I recommend doing it. Anyway, now as normal, this is pretty much the same location where the cutscene took place. But this time, we're going to do a little construction. Before going to the hero mode, I recommend going over there, because not only is there a silver canister, but there's also oh, the final Toa, which is Matoro. By far, by far we're approaching the second to last level of this zone, and then after that we'll be facing off against our first Paraka boss. Now, now, now let's get... Now pretty much, actually there will be enemies, you can use the hero mode to clear them out easily, like so, or you can do the long way and get all the cuts and get all the parts, but either way. Also sorry for why the audio keeps cutting off sometimes, it's because when I record my voice, sometimes it tends to do that. Now before you move on, swap to from the Topon Botan sorry, Matoro and aim your blaster and shoot down that uh, uh silver Borok shield to gain access to another location. Now pretty much this is now once this is up you can now when you walk here it'll be completely sealed off. Apparently you won't be able to enter. So I recommend so I recommend destroying that before you move on into this room. No either way, when you get in there we will we will get our first ever gold canister. Right here. Now as you can see there are still three to left. Three left. I'm sorry, if you guys don't know me, I have dyslexia, which is in learning and pronunciation disorder. Which means I could get words wrong or anything, or sometimes I can mispronounce them. So, don't blame me, well, over there. So pretty much over there, this is the slip. We can't access it until we do this. So, we add the cons to get it up and running, then we just go. I reckon, I like destroying this. Press B, and you will take it down to, which I personally think is the dungeon. Before heading out, we'll open the gate, and you will get the silver canister this way. But also, watch out, because enemies will be hiding behind the wall as well. Oh, so that blew it up. Now, pretty much I like destroying objects around the world, around this, this location, because you would uh, get more technique pieces. And the more technique pieces you have, the uh, more upgrades and stuff you can buy. Now what I recommend doing, I recommend you keep playing this game as every Toa to get all the achievements. Over here, we're now encountered with another Paraka gate, which we cannot yet yield the open. But when we progress through the game, and after we defeat Bison, I'll do the game. Pretty much before the final battle, I'll do it. Oh, we just reached hero mode. That was pretty surprising. Anyway, continuing on. Now we work our way up there, there will be Viserai behind the stairs, recommend destroying them first. Next up every time, we will encounter them, them in the second one. So pretty much we're going up the spiral. Also, if you want to know, I've been playing Adventures Academy, the Civil War event is by far ended. I wanted to do gameplay footage, but I didn't have the proper requirements. 
And plus, it would require a lot of work, you know, to get my console and that and get it close to my iPad to try it out. So I just decided not to do it. So continuing on, uh, let's move up. And as for my a uh, what was it again? Mortal Kombat gameplay that will soon be resumed after I finish playing Bomb Heroes. After I finish Bomb Heroes, I'm gonna finish it off. But after that, oh, I'm not sure. I think I might do uh, another gameplay. Here anyway, we Next up, we get cutscene. There's the hero. Mode. So yeah. No, no, every time you defeat a, a Loa, I mean a Paraka of one location, you will gain access to the next zone. Pretty much you'll unlock the corpse. Now before I go out, I recommend destroying this because you can end up getting technical things. Now this is a contract which can only be built by Vizon, the final boss. Pretty much after I finish this game to 100%, I will personally try. I'll personally do another game. I'm not sure what game to do. Either bomb, either bomb. Sorry. Well, I think my next gameplay will be on. Oh yeah, so there and guess gold caster. Now, when you climb down, there will be enemies. I recommend blowing them up with your with the power of the blaster. Because then you can have the parts. Well, sometimes you can have the parts of the Also, I recommend shooting inside. Now, pretty much over there is the final silver silver canister, which you cannot gain access until you, know, you, you finish the game. So, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. But still, I'm quite disappointed there is no jump button, and I'm quite sad that all the Toa don't have the ability to use the Force, like Hookie, which is quite disappointed. Anyway, this is the final hero mode for this location, but not actually for the entire level, but just for like this part of the level. Before heading out, destroy the bot, because they're pretty much like, gone. Over there, before heading in, get this, uh, caster. Now, one time when I played this game, the game glitched and I got stuck into a boulder. So, I swap to Holly, then move up. Alright, sorry for the fun silence. Now, the night, now we've approached the boss. First, all we have to do is climb up and be careful because she can attempt to shoot with axe. No, I recommend climbing up. It would be pretty cool. Next up, when we climb up here, she'll start attacking us. So what I do, swap the Holly. So what do I do? I always swap the Holly because she's pretty much better suited for this level. Even though, I now pretty much, just keep attacking and evading her. Then, in a few seconds, she'll jump up like that. This rack will start. Now there has been a glitch when I played the game, where the Vizirac didn't spawn and the boss never came down. Here it is. Well, I hope it doesn't happen. Take down the Vizirac, and when the Vizirac is defeated, pretty much she'll send him down in three or four waves. And then after that, she'll head down, so, next up, trigger hero mode, and boom! <laughs> Alright, this boss requires a pattern. That's a pattern. So shoot, and now just keep shooting and evading. The more you evade, the more you shoot. The lesser chance of opportunities to attack. But this time, now she'll stop from the Vizirac in the, uh, uh, next Do that, you know, three or five times. Also, press the, uh, if you're on, uh, the, uh, Xbox version, the will tap, press the, uh, back button, and you can see all the technique pieces and the cancels. So, yeah, so you just have to 
evading until the next wave. The Poseidus are two maps. Ali and Jowler. So if they both get killed, you can just get their maps. But if Hookie, Konku, Haru, or Matoru are killed, then you can't get their masks ever. Which is quite pretty much disappointing. So we attack. But from now on, here's a little something that's gonna happen before I begin the video. Before I begin the video, I'm now I'm now gonna be heading to the uh, Lego store to upgrade my Toa. I like to be quiet. So anyway, uh, so before the video, before we do the actual level in every video, I'll be heading to the Lego store, you know, upgrading the Toa, getting their weapons and abilities. So pretty much also saving up to get other stuff. But pretty much, yeah. By far the hardest part I hate about getting this game on is doing the bonus they very annoying. First you have to buy them, then after that you need to complete them. Yeah, all the gold. Okay, so that's pretty much the most annoying thing ever. Anyway, so. Boom! Hero mode. Now no, this will actually be the final hero mode for this location. Now, when you reach, uh, once you've taken her down, she'll start dropping her shield. For this, I like to swap to the Paru. Yeah, so wait until her shield's down, but when she reaches down to one heart, I presume, she'll be defeated. Now pretty much, before her shield comes up, attack her before her shield's up. If you don't, then the level will become more longer. Yeah, trying to evade. No. See, that's why we don't strike. The reason how I missed was because my lock on system locked off. The oh. Now, Napar. Now, pretty much, here's a little tip. When you shoot Naparo's weapon, it explodes on impact. But if you press the A button when it's flying to your opponent, then you can detonate it. <laughs> One more hit, and then she's done. Just need to get into. There we go. Alright, now just grab her mask, and level complete. Or pretty much her head. Now, pretty much saving game, please do not turn off your console. And, uh, and like always, disconnected from Xbox Live. I don't actually care. I don't need it for this, uh, game. So as you can see, we now have four silver canisters. Which was, what I said? And one and gold canister. Uh, make that two, I mean. So pretty much, those are what we get. Lots of Technic parts, and new character unlocked, and Daka. Shattered Wreck completed. And that's about it. So here we guys, that uh, does it for part 3. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I'll see you guys in part 4. So, and also, share this video with your friends and with your friends. Pretty much, it will help support my channel in many ways. So here we guys, thanks for watching. My name is Wingblade, and I will see you guys in part 4, uh, which will be uploaded today. So anyway guys, see you then. Bye bye everyone.